greetings to all my viewers uh, in this lecture we are going to want to look at how to use Fermat's principle to prove the law of reflection of light so you are having a law of light in, from point O incident on the mill at A and it's reflected to B and this distance here is A and this distance here is B this is the angle of incidence and here is the angle of reflection we have this distance as d and this is x and this is d minus x okay so um so if i want to get oa our oa will be a squared plus x squared power a half from pythagoras theorem here then also if i want to get O B or it can be A B A B this one A B A B is equal to B squared D squared plus plus D minus X squared this one here power a half that one is good from Pythagoras theorem we have A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared in primary C squared is equal to A squared plus b squared under a root uh -huh. so now the path the path traveled the path traveled by light by light l is equal to o a plus o b implying that l will equal to a squared plus x squared power half plus this one here which is this uh, b squared plus d minus x squared power a half let us try to get the l the x will be i drop the power here we'll have a half a squared plus x squared power negative a half times times the derivative of this one here it will be 2x plus drop the power here shall have a half then this one should be b squared plus d minus x squared power negative a half times and now differentiating this differentiate this with respect to x since this one is independent of x I have to look at this. I have, I have a, a negative. And I differentiate this one. The two will drop here into d minus x. I know you are experts in differentiation. So I shall have the l dx equaling to this one will go with this. This will also go with this. I shall have x out of because it's negative. If it, if it goes in the denominator, it will be a positive positive a half minus this negative here affects this so it shall have minus d minus x out of this one here but this since it is going in the denominator this will be become a positive so it shall have b squared plus d minus x squared power a half but from from the geometry from the geometry um, sine theta from the geometry sine theta i is equal to x out of a squared plus x squared and also here sine Theta R is equal to D minus X out of out of the B squared plus D minus X squared power a half. Yeah. From here here we are having uh, sine is opposite of hypotenuse, so you'll have this X 
this one here this is x out of out of the hypotenuse that is sine even here shall have this is d minus x which is this one given this one here out of the hypotenuse that's what i'm looking at here this one and this one also uh, if i take you can say taking small angles taking small angles in radians in radians in radians theta i will be equal to x over a squared plus x squared and theta r will be equal to b minus x out of out of b squared plus d minus x squared power a half we have power half here also power half so when i get this one here i put it here i get this one here also i put it where here so shall have shall have the l the x is equaling to theta i minus theta r but from from Fermat's principle from Fermat's principle the LDX would be equal to zero. Therefore I'll have theta i equaling to theta to theta r which is actually the row the row of reflection which is the row of reflection this is what we wanted this one here it's what we wanted yeah thanks very much for watching to my my youtube channel don't forget to subscribe bye bye